If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. 
Happy shopping! Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. So I hope you all grabbed some fantastic bargains last week. Oh, you, we had so many orders. You absolutely loved it and so did I. Sadly, lots of it sold out. I had my eye on quite a few things, but you have helped us to clear some shelves so that we can buy more, buy more. Which means we've got new stuff today, including the early bird and some fantastic. Remember, in two hours time, it's Christmas. I know it's only July, but in two hours' time, it's Christmas on Yarn Lane because I know all you knitters and crochets out there, out there, you like to get ahead, you want to get everything done in time for Christmas. So, luckily, we have three special hours for you. But if you're not a knitter or crochet, you will love it. We have got three really expert guests. We've even got ready-made socks. Shh. So if you don't want to knit them, you don't have to. But we have the wonderful um, Christine Winnick mum who is on, who is going to teach you from beginners how to knit a pair of socks. And we've got ready-made ones too. Anyway, anyway, that's coming up at 10 o'clock. But the first two hours is Yarn Lane. It's not Yarn Lane. <laughs> oh dear, it's too early. Let's just rewind. The next first two hours, it's Sewing Street. Starting with the early bird. Look at this. How nice is this? I've never seen a white um, design roll. I'm going to undo it. They said I could undo it, which is good, because like, you can never really see, can you? Remember, when you undo your, yours, you will never get it back the same. And I know, because I've tried. So, these are your normal design roll, two and a half inch strips. Now, they are cut across the full width of the fabric, which is 112 centimetres, 44 inches standard. But they're all pre-cut, and there are 40 of them. Me unroll them. They're obviously all folded in half. So, if I turn it over, that's better. They are all in beautiful neutral shades of whites, ecrues, ivories, and cream. Some are completely plain, and some have a very small print in them. So I bring them there. You can see. You know, you've got like an ivory and a white and a creamy colour. See that one's got a little print on it. But you know, maybe you're making a baby quilt, a christening quilt, a wedding quilt, or maybe you've got other design rolls or other fabrics you want to just use this for the borders. This will really go with, you know, if you're using even the brights colours or liberties or um, darks, this will really make it, I mean, you know, it's lovely, work, particularly if you're doing a quilt that's got lots of um, squares and you want to do panels and sashing, and this is all pre-cut. Or you can use it for log cabin. I've seen log cabin completely in whites like this where you use white for one the one light side and then you use this sort of ivory creamy color for the darks it's stunning it doesn't have the same sort of mass contrast as your very dark and light but it's beautiful it looks almost sort of antique like wedding lace but these it's gorgeous isn't it now saving five pounds today if you bought a couple of these you could make a whole beautiful quilt so if you know somebody who has got a special occasion, you want to make something beautiful, because look, you can see the slight print in it. And that honestly, when, when joined together, it does have that kind of antique lacy feel. They're beautiful. Anyway, 100% pure cotton, really, really good quality, all in whites, ivories and creams. Look, you can see as I'm going through. And then you've got some, you know, ranging from bright, bright white to this sort of deeper goldy cream but all of them are neutrals. So, 24, I can't believe that. I have never seen a design roll for 24.99. Normally, well, they're 40, 50, that sort of price, 24.99. Yeah, it's normally would work out about a pound a strip, but I think that is incredible value. I would buy multiples of these because, as I said, they, have a look, put, put on Google, like white neutral log cabin honestly it's stunning but they are beautiful so look at that one this works out at 62 pence a strip so look you know if you wanted to do something with the contrast you have got it but in a really subtle way some are plain it's always a stripy one but the majority but the Kat says she's just Googled white log cabin and it actually comes up with log cabins. Maybe you need to Google neutral log cabin quilt. 
<laughs> she's got white log cabins how nice so most of them have got a print some of them are plain but they are gorgeous where would you ever be able to find 40 different whites and creams and that's just one thing and i'm only saying that because i've seen it and i know it's really stunning oh yeah show us a picture cap show us a picture look at those so that's you know that's just log cabins but if you if you try it in the neutrals honestly they're stunning because it's just so subtle but the great thing about these neutrals they'll work with all colors all different colors and they look right you know a team with anything else but a great thing to have in your stash maybe you want to bind the edge of something you could join all of these together in one long strip and you know for 24.99 you've got a beautiful binding I can't believe that's only $24.99. I am never gonna get this back rolled up. Maybe we'll just um maybe we'll just keep it flat. I did say once once you undo these, you'll never get them back. What I do is I just keep them flat like this because you never get you never put them back again. I've got a really lovely um Tilda jelly roll design roll, which I've never known what to do with. And actually, because that's beautiful sort of pastel florals. That would look really nice with this. That sort of really pale, pretty, but it is, it's very sort of classic. Kind of the good thing to have in your stash. So even if you haven't got a project in mind for it, when you just need a strip of cream, it's already there. So when you store them, just fold them up like that. Um, we have a slight issue with the website at this moment in time. We're working really hard to get it fixed. So if you want to order because you can't do it online, call our call centre 0800 001 4433. Now that is a free phone number and it's a UK call centre. It's our family run call centre that's just around the corner from here. Really, really helpful bunch of staff. They will be able to take your orders, process your orders and also answer any of your questions. So we are working on sorting the website out. But for now, if you want to get the early bird, you want to get in there, because it is only $24.99, you will need to phone the call centre. But it is free, and it's always nice to have a chat. There is a helpful, really kind. So, um, keep going through for that. There's loads of you that are buying multiples, and I'm not surprised. And if you do make a neutral and log cabin, please can you send me a photo? Because they are stunning, and I can show Kat what they look like. I'll have to find one later. So, coming up on Sewing Street slash Yarn Lane today, because we're a bit of a mixture, eight o'clock, we have got Bird of the Month. It is July. I can't believe I've done seven months now. This month, it's Magpie, and we've also got another bird. We've got an extra special bird. I know some people don't like magpies, but we promised at the beginning we would give you some extras. So, so far, we had the owl was an extra, and we've got an extra one, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. At nine o'clock, um, new fabric collection and tools. So, after our big clearance sale last week, we have got some fantastic new fabrics. Love them, love them, because it's poppy cotton and beautiful fabrics, and some fab tools. And amazing wadding that I'm quite excited about. Then we move to Christmas in Yarn Lane. So obviously we always start on Sewing Street, we start Christmas, I think we're doing it in August this year, but in Yarn Lane we thought let's pop it in at the end of July. So they've given me three hours, which I'm really excited about. So we've got the lovely Carrie Gardner who's coming on to demonstrate some fantastic new makes for Wool Couture. Now Wool Couture always bring out a lovely Christmas collection each year and we are launching it. It has never been sold before. I mean, they sell, obviously sell all their kits on their websites, but they also sell in John Lewis and all sorts of other places. No one else has got it. We are launching Walker Chill's Christmas collection with some beautiful kits from Christmas hats and scarves to personalised sacks. Look at that Christmas pudding. I adore that. And the gingerbread man. So that's at 10 o'clock. Get your Christmas in early. So instead of having one of those horrible Christmas hats, knit yourself one. Um, 11 o'clock we've got the lovely Christine Queen of Socks Winnick Mum coming in to show us how to knit Christmas socks. So we have got patterns, Christmas yarn, but we've also got pre-made socks, which I know sounds a little bit odd seeing all about yarn lane, but um, I got sent a pair and oh my, they are the most comfortable socks I have ever worn. So I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to get some. I think you'll love them. There's one pair, the Holly Berry. If you've never pay, made a pair of socks, but you want to know what it's like to wear pure wool, because those, those pre-made socks are made with the West Yorkshire Spinners Blue Face Leicester yarn. 
um, you can buy some and they come in three different sizes so they are gorgeous but if you have never knitted a pair of socks christine is an absolute expert she is sort of her mission in life is to teach everyone how to knit socks and she's going to be showing us the magic loop today method today which i'm very excited about because i've always wanted to learn it so if you've never made a pair of socks before if your knitting needles are dusty under the bottom of the spare room bed get them out and learn today how to make a pair of socks and if you start now everyone can have a pair of hand knitted socks and honestly it's the best gift then finally, at 12 o'clock, we've got the fantastic Sam Sabido of Adventures in Crafting. I said to Sam, I want a Christmas jumper. I'll leave it that. She is so talented and so brilliant. I said, I don't mind. Don't mind what you do. I just want a Christmas jumper. And she's come up with these fantastic snowstorm Christmas jumpers in three different colourways. The only difficulty will be choosing. So there's a red and white, a navy and white, and a grey and white. But the grey one has got white sparkly yarn in. So it's very glittery. So we're working, oh, so the Sewing Street website we're working on fixing, but the Yarn Lane website is working. That is all on pre-order. Now, I know that whenever we do anything from Woolcature, from Winnick Mum and from Adventures and Crafting, they go very quickly. So we put it all on pre-order for you. Um, all you have to do, there we are, is click on Watch Live. On the yarn, you've got to go on to www.yarnlane.com. We don't sell Yarn Lane on the Sewing Street, it'd be too confusing. There it all is. It's all on pre-order. Things are already selling. Look, there's all the pre the pre-made socks, obviously called Yarn Lane Loves, translated to I Love. We just call it Yarn Lane, but it's actually things I love. And look, there's all the yarn and all the you see so you can make your own socks. There's pattern books. I've put together a special bundle for you where you can buy one ball each of the Christmas yarns and the pattern book as well. Or you can buy them separately. So there's plenty of choice. And all the needles because it's important with knitting socks that you use the right needles so we've made sure we've got them whether you want to go circular double pointed i've got both of them there for you and then all this there's all the adventures in crafting kits so and blocking mats even more importantly i've bought the blocking mats back because very important to block your crochet because it does look a bit better so we are trying to get the Sewing Street website sorted, but the Yarn Lane one is working. So if you want to order on Sewing Street this morning, you will have to use the call center until we get it fixed. But um, it's a free phone number. It's always nice to have a chat to them because they're so helpful as well, makes it so much easier. So early bird, early bird, you need to phone 0800 001 4433. There's the number on the screen anyway. Remember it's five pounds saving. Now, the postage is as always 3.95 doesn't matter how much you buy between now and midnight it will only be 3.95 and that runs across sewing street and yarn lane so if you've bought the early bird your postage is free for the rest of the day on yarn lane you know you've saved more than your postage haven't you because you also if you are new to yarn lane if you've got an account with sewing street you don't need to set up another one the two cross over the only difference between the two channels is that yarn lane has its own website and its own phone number but the account is the same and the postage is the same i think that's explained all the complexities i think we've have we done all the admin now can we get will we get that i'm bored with that now let's get to bird of the month so shall we have a look at the quilt which is behind me I'm going to just, oh, I was going to say I'd move it over, but it's um, tied up. So here's our beautiful quilt. I tell you what, I'm going to move the apron, then you can see it. Is that better? There we go. So we started off, I feel like I'm the 12 days of Christmas. Every time I come on air, I've got more stuff. So we had the wren in January, the pigeon in February, and we gave you an owl for the people who didn't like the pigeon, the bullfinch in March, the blue tit in April, the great tit in May, the starling in June, and then this month in July, we are on to the magpie. Whee! So, if you want the magpie panel, here it is. As always, 10 and a half by 10 and a half inch square with the bird on. Then you get two magpie labels. Then you get five fabric strips that are complementary as in not as in free but as in match with um they are all two and a half inch wide so your normal design roll so if you've already bought the design roll on the early bird go beautifully with this um they're 43 inches long so almost as long as because um, a normal design roll strip will be 44 and in the kit as well you get the instructions so i decided this month when i was like what am i going to make with the magpie i thought well it's july's gardening isn't it um 
I'm rubbish at gardening and not really don't enjoy it. But the I, d I don't mind a bit of weeding because that's quite easy. So I thought, well, actually, I'd quite like a garden cushion to be able to kneel on. There's a picture of it. I've got it here and I'll show you in a minute. And then when I was doing it, I thought, oh, actually, an apron to put all my tools and I'm a secateurs in. Because I've usually got my secateurs in the back of my jeans pocket and it's really not very safe. So what I did is I gave you in the instruction booklet, it's extra thick this month, there are two sets. So there's all the instructions for making the um, garden kneeler and all the walkthroughs as normal and all the measurements. And remember that you can use these instructions with any of the bird panels because the bird panels are all the same. So if you decide, well, I bought the pigeon in February and I wasn't sure what to do with it. Well, you can have a pigeon kneeler. So they will all mix and match. You can use the instructions or anything. So there's the bit if obviously if you get the kits, they come together, but they we are selling them separately. So there's all the instructions. And then the garden apron is completely separate. So it's free. You get a free set to make the garden apron. And again, and it features the bird, but you can put whatever bird you want on there. But all the measurements are in here. So it's really simple to be able to adapt them for anything else you've got. So the that so for the kit, so if you buy the panel with the instructions, you get a pound off. It's eighteen ninety nine. Now, now we have another bird. Remember, I haven't told you about that one yet, but we have a, a nether bird, the extra choice bird. So we end up with fourteen. Is the wagtail? There it is. There's a picture of it. I love this one because it's got a beautiful mauvey lavender background, very charcoal grey colours and I love the um, matching design roll strips because they're all sort of charcoal grey lavender colours. When I do the demonstration of how to make the garden kneeler, I've got the panel here and I'll show you what it looks like in reality. So if you want to buy the kit, you get the panel exactly the same and the instructions as well and by buying the kit you get save a pound. Now if you want to buy the panel separately, so if you want to, that's the code for the kit there, the wagtail kit. But you have to remember, you have to find the call centre for the moment. As soon as we get the um, website working again, we will let you know. But at the moment, you do need to use the phone number 0800 11433. If you want the panel on its own for the magpie, that's nine ninety nine, And remember, so say if you've been collecting since the beginning and you want to make the whole quilt, then you'll need the magpie to put into your quilt. Or maybe you think, well, actually, you know, I bought the peg bag instructions back in April and I'd like to make a magpie peg bag. Remember, they all mix and match. So, you know, I know a lot of you in the past have bought two because you think, well, I want one in my quilt and then I want to put one of them because I'm going to make it into the cushion. So behind me, I have got all of the makes that we have done over the last seven months now in many versions. So you can make a cosmetic bag, a cushion, a round cushion, a messenger bag. You can make um, the peg bag. See, and that would look lovely with any of the birds in. But all of the previous panels and all of the previous instructions We'll go back on the website when it's working. So we'll, we'll sell them all separately. So remember, any of the instructions work with any of the panels. But if you buy the panel with the instructions now, then you will save a pound. So if you just want the Magpie panel, that's 9 99 and there it is now. You need to phone the call centre to order that. Now, if you want to buy the Wagtail, and the way that these birds have been designed is that they have used a certain colour palette. So all of the birds go together so if you decide and some people have done this well i only like four of the birds so i'm just going to buy three lots of them they will all mix and match beautifully the color palette they all go together as you can see from the quilt behind me because we so that's a very purpley one now we had the starling back in june and that goes really well so because the color have been chosen like that so this month if you are making the quilt you can make them use the magpie or the wagtail and at the moment, they're neck and neck. You see, now, I thought there were going to be a lot of people who didn't like the magpie and would go, oh, I don't, don't want that. But interestingly, they are neck and neck. But actually, this magpie is really stunning. And when I then made it into the cushion, 
I realise actually it's, it looks even better when it's made up. The colours just work. I think that sort of really sort of yellowy chartreuse colour background looks stunning against the magpie. Oh, the wagtail's now in the lead. Oh, lots of multiples. I'm not surprised. Yeah, so you can buy, you know, also the other thing is, is that if you wanted to make a bigger quilt than this, buy more than, you know, because we have the, we've got two extra birds now. We've got the owl and the magpie are extras to what was in the, the owl and the wagtail. So we've got 14 birds in total. So if you wanted to buy extras and make an even bigger quilt, so because this is more of a lap quilt size, if you wanted to make one for your bed, just buy extra panels because they are all there. If at this stage you think, oh, actually I would, We'll buy two or three of each of them and you can make a massive quilt. So remember, because the website isn't working, the call centre are quite busy, but just hang on, you know, they, they are getting through and you will get it, so don't worry. Oh, the app is working. Okay. Oh, good morning all. It looks like the Sewing Street app is working. Oh, well, that's good news. Loving the different patterns that come with the birds of the month. They're great. Thank you, Julie. I love, well, I really enjoyed them. Every month I have to think, oh, what am I going to make, make this month with a square? So it's just trying to decide and trying to keep it theme. But it's always trying to work out what, because I say each set of instructions will work with any bird. It's trying to work out how that will do. But, you know, if you've got any ideas, I've got four months left. Um of things that you would like, let me know. Right, if you want the instructions on their own, which basically is two sets of one, and it is an extra thick booklet featuring Amy's mum's lovely dog, Charlie. She said he wouldn't get out of the way when she's taken the photos, so she just left him in. He looks lovely, doesn't he? Look at that, lovely. So if you want the instructions on their own, so maybe you're thinking, I'd like to make the gardening set, but I want to use one of the birds or a different bird from a different one because it's all very mix and match. It's like one of those sweetie pick and mix things. Everything goes together. Then the instructions on their own are 9 99 So as I said, if you buy the kit, you save a pound because the panel's 9 99 the instructions are 9 99 But this month, it is a double whammy. You get the um, kneeler and the apron together because I couldn't, yeah, I mean, and I have, they are set out, so they are a completely different set of instructions. Because I couldn't decide which, which to make, so I thought you could have both. So they're all in there, in the one thing. So the gardening cushion, shall I get him out and show him to you? There we go. So, got the bird in the middle, and then I thought, let's learn flying geese. We haven't done flying geese yet, and it seemed a bit quite appropriate, even though it's a magpie, but, you know, flying geese, birds. And it um, frames it quite nicely as well, and I think, you know, how stylish to go in the garden with that. What I've done then is I've put denim on the sides and for the handles, and then one of the handles, I've put the, um, the label. Ooh, I can't get it right. There you go. The label. Wrong way. There we go. There's the label. And then it's got handle. But what I've done on the back, um, I've used, I've put a waterproof fabric. Now you don't have to do that, but obviously if you want to stay waterproof. So we have got some special waterproof fabric for you. So on the bottom, I've put ripstop. Now we've got this available by the half meter today in two different colors. So we've got the lighter royal blue. You only need half a metre of this. We, in fact, you don't need a whole half a metre. In fact, you've got enough here to make two cushions, to back two cushions. But it's really strong and really waterproof. So it's just what you need for an out. Because although you, you think garden nilo, it's for um, weeding, it isn't. You can use it as an outdoor cushion. So if you pop it in the boot of your car, if you're going out for a picnic, make one for everyone in your family, then you've all got your own cushion. I've put two handles on it so they're easy to carry. And then everyone's got a cushion to sit on. But the rip stop works beautifully on the back of it. So we've got one ninety. it's only one ninety nine for half a metre, and that's all you need. But we've also got the darker, more navy blue as well. Again, one ninety nine for half a metre. But you could use Odico if you want to do it on normal fabric. I mean, you know, it depends how wet it is, but this ripstop is perfect for things like this but also for things like lining cosmetic bags and wash bags so say maybe you've made the bullfinch cosmetic bag it'd be perfect for that maybe you're the sort of person that forgets to get your pegs in when it's raining you could use it to line your peg bag keep them sort of dry anyway mine always get very rusty because i leave them outside 
but you know anything they're really good but for 1.99 it always sells really really well and it is incredibly strong and it's waterproof so it's exactly what you need for this um if you want the denim fabric we've got two colors so we've got the darker denim which is the one that i use for the magpie cushion 4.99 for half a meter and you only need half a meter for this it is beautiful i can assure you it's beautiful to sew with and it's really wide as well it's wider than your normal fabric i think it's 150 centimeters that's half of it it's really wide there you go that's what it looks like really wide and it's beautiful sew with i tell you what if you want to use it for dressmaking it is lovely i've got my eye on it for a pinafore dress because it's um i mean it's a nice weight but it's got a lot of nice drape to it it's not like you're super thick stiff denim fabric it is beautiful to sew with and i've used it quite a lot lately because i used it for the um it's only 4.99 for half a meter and you only need half a meter for this but if you've already checked out you can always um add it to your order anyway you can pop that on whenever you want um that's the darker one now i've also got the lighter one because i've used that in the demonstration which i'll show you in a minute for doing the wagtail so i use the lighter the lighter will go with either of them you can use either it's only lighter in color not in weight but you know you could use the lighter one for the magpie because look it goes goes really well it's up to you which color you want so that's the lighter one again only 4.99 for half a meter um but don't they look nice together so if you're like me and you're thinking if you're thinking patchwork or patchwork pinafore patchwork skirt don't they go now and the good thing about this is they are the same weight they come from the same family so they work well together but you will only need half a meter it does what the reason I used it is it just gives it a bit of strength and structure and make it last a bit longer um, and you can put it on the back if you want to there is enough in a half meter if you want to put it on the base but um, a waterproof fabric obviously is better if you're using it in the garden and finally two cottons so you will need the extra because the um, the panel that has the design roll strips I have used for the flying geese but in the background of these flying geese, you need this plain fabric. So on this one, I've used vanilla. You only need, well, you're half a meter, you don't even need half a meter, a bit, bit less than half a meter for this. But that's the vanilla that I've used on this one. Um, for the apron, shall I get the apron off? I'm going to take the apron, because we haven't really looked at the apron yet. Let's take it off. Um, I used the great tip for this one but actually what and this will work with the magpie as well i use this beautiful green apple green and doesn't it look lovely with the denim so i used it to line the back of the apron and to line the ties and it just looks really nice and when you make it i also top stitched it with a matching green thread and then you just put the bird in the center but it's for keeping your secateurs in and keeping yourself very slightly clean Shall I wear the apron? You see, what you do, you can't see the bottom, there it is. And then you just tie it round so it's really easy. Take on and off. Quite like this, actually I could use this as my sewing apron. I could get my scissors and everything in there, couldn't I? So please do call the call centre if, because um, it is free, it is free. 0800 001 4433. They know, they know that you, we've got problems with the website. But remember the app is working. So that's good. That's always good to know. So that's what you'll need. You will need half a meter of denim. You'll need some waterproof or you can use your denim and you will need, well, it's not even half a meter of the plain fabric. You need, I did write it down, um, 10 by 20 inches. So not a lot, but those are the colors that I used. So we will run through all of the previous months at, at the end of the show, but we've got to get on with the demo, otherwise, Otherwise, I won't be able to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to demonstrate with the wagtail just so that you can see it. So the main graphic there at $18.99 is for the bundle. And that is the instructions on the panel. And by buying the, the bundle, you get a pound off. Okay, so what we do is we start off with, in the instructions it explains in detail, so you haven't got to remember any of this, all the cutting out, because the design, those 
fabric strips we're going to use for the flying geese and you have to cut them all into specific sizes. So start off by cutting everything out. Um, now I've done a little bit in advance so we'll never finish it. So when you cut out the bird, I mean isn't it gorgeous, you cut out the um, strips, you label the strips first, so these are the, the ones that are the darkest and you cut those out and join those around the edge and that makes just a nice size to start with. So I'm not going to do that now because that's quite simple. But it looks lovely, doesn't it? Doesn't the grey in the design will go beautifully with it? So that's what you do to start with. Then you put that to one side and you get on with the flying geese. Now, in the cushion, there are eight flying geese on each side of the border. So to make one flying geese, you need... I'm going to take my board and then you might be able to see them better. You've got, you've cut your design roll into rectangles. There's one of them. And then you, um, you cut from the plain fabric two squares. This is just to make one. Obviously, you've got to do this 16 times. So you cut two squares. Then you take a ruler and... Um, it doesn't actually matter. I'm using a heat erasable pen, but you're going to be cutting on this and sewing on this line, so it doesn't really matter. Just don't use a biro because it might run. And draw a diagonal line. You can use a pencil though, from one corner to the other. You need to do that on both. Now, if you've not done this before, what I would recommend is make one flying geese in its entirety. Then you'll know how to do it. Then make all the others, but do it instead. So I. Once I'd worked out how to do one, I then drew the lines across all of my squares and did it all in a sort of a, a production line thing. But with anything, I always, I always think if you're making something for the first time, do one and then you can do it in its entirety. So draw those really quick. Then put one of the squares, one of the squares on top of the right side. So the right side's facing re of the rectangle, making sure that the line goes from the top left to the bottom right. Now, in the um, instructions, I will show you, there are photos of exactly how this works. So you won't forget, it's, it's really simple. I've shown you, so although I tell you top left, bottom right, there are photos of the whole stage of this. So, ooh, let's get these the right way around. Make sure it's all lined up nicely and then pin it in place. I always pin it above and below the line. It just holds it a little bit flatter. Then you just need to, you've got to do one at a time. Don't be tempted to put them both on. You've now got to sew along the line, actually on the line. Do a little back stitch, reverse stitch to start with. I love sewing on lines because you always know it's going to be straight. And then a little reverse stitch at the end. Okay. Then let's turn it over because I want the iron, which. I did remember to put on before. Um, when you do this, we're going to trim it. Give it a little press first, and that will just flatten it. Now, I used to cut this and then press it over, and then I was doing did a show with Sally Ann Harrison, and she taught me this trick, which is just brilliant. To get if you're doing anything where you are snowballing, which is where you cut off a corner to make a square. Um, or if you're doing half square triangles, always fold it over first because what you can do by doing that is you can match the top points because you can see them. If you've cut it off already, you can't see them. So match up the top right hand corners and the edges and then press it. If you trim it first, you don't know whether it's exactly square. Once you've done that, you can... I did get some scissors out. Oh, yeah. Um... After you've pressed it, open it out and then trim it. Just, you don't need to measure this, about a quarter of an inch, like that, and then give it a quick press. And that means that you, this is more likely to be square by doing that. Right, I'm going to just cool it down a bit or I'll lose my line. Right, take your other drawn square and put that right sides down on top with the drawn up, matching up the left side and the top. And then um, pin above and below, and then sew along that line just like you did last time. Right. 
Right, and in the same way as you did last time, give it a little press just to flatten it. Then open it out, match up those corners because you you can pull it quite slightly. You will get a much squarer edge by doing that. So pull it so that they match the raw edges match up, and then press it. And this is what I mean. This is the best thing about if you do one in its entirety, then you've cracked this. You've worked out how to do it, and then because I've made some of these in advance, I made these yesterday at home. Um, then what I did is I all the rest of them I sewed on all the right squares, pressed them all, cut them all, then all of the left squares. Anyway, so that now is a flying goose. They was called the flying geese. I've never heard of a flying, whether you can call them singly a flying goose or a flying geese. Anyway, you make 16 of these using um, the, the different strips. I've told you which ones to use in order of the light and dark, but you can do whichever you like. I just chose to do them in that order. So you make them, make all 16. I do feel a bit odd wearing an apron. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be cooking. But um, so you make them and join them together. So I have done one side in advance, that's made all of them. But then they look nice in this in this colourway. So I've done them because these strips are sort of A, B, C, D and E, I labelled them. So I did um, B, C, D, B, C, D, B, C. You can do the whatever order you like, but I quite like that sort of graduated tone. So I've joined together one side. When you come to join them on, you just put, make sure that the points are facing the same direction and place that one on top of there. And what I like about this, oh, I'm going to investigate the points in the right direction. <laughs> yeah, Elliot noticed, Elliot noticed that. <clears throat> when you do it, put the one that's got the point seam on top, not that on top, not the flat on top, because, I'll show you in a minute, then just pin it on. It's best to pin and sew one at a time, otherwise, I tried it the other way and they all get caught up. But keep the point on top because when we sew this, in order to get that really nice crisp point here, you need to sew through. Let me show you with a pin. You need to sew through that. And he's going to get tight. He's going to get tight. There we are. Oh, that's really close. So you need to be sewing through that point there. And if you sew th exactly through that point, you will get like here you will get that nice crisp point there. Now, by having this pointy bit on, the seamy bit on top, you'll be able to see it. If you do it that way around, you won't be able to see it. So if you do it this way around, you will, if that makes sense. Right, so, yeah, I mean, it's a quarter of an inch seam, but obviously, um, when you do these quarter of an inch seams, you sometimes go off a little bit. So when you reach, this point, just go a bit slow, make sure your needle hits where the point of the seam is and then keep going. That way you will now, you will get really nice, oh might be able to lift the foot, there we go, I'll give, I'll give it a little press flat but when we open it up, there we go, let me move them over a bit. Look, you get a really nice crisp point. Now I, I like to, some people press them to one side. When I do flying geese, and it is honestly personal preference, there's no right or wrong here, I like to press the seams open because there's a lot of bulk going on there, particularly at that point. And I think as well by pressing it open, and honestly, it, there is no right or wrong with this. By pressing them open, you then get a really nice crisp point. So by putting that on top, so you're not really, you're not matching seams at all, which is lovely because I hate matching seams, but you've just got to remember to sew through there. Anyway, when you've then done that and you have sewn your two flying geese, put them in order. You don't have to do them in the same order, but I quite, I tried them the other way round, but I quite like them all in the same order. Take the square that you made earlier, Take your wagtail, and then we're going to sew one either side. So when you sew them, always sew the piece of fabric that has the most seams on top because it's much easier to match it. You can see I've got, 
because if I sew the flat, the non-seam fabric on top, I won't be able to see these seams. So pin it at the top. We're not matching seams either, which is lovely because there's no seams to match. Pin it at the bottom because you've got a lot of seams going on here. So this side piece might feel a little bit shorter. It isn't, but you've got a lot of seams. And then what I do is I just pull it so that it meets in the middle and then pin the center point because it because you've got lots of seams going on it sort of pulls the fabric in a bit but if you give it a little pull it will fit and then just pin it there if you just hold it down and give it a little pull and pin it there now when you come to sew this it's important, if you, any of your seams aren't lying nice and flat, and do that now. To get a nice, um, to get some nice points on the edges, can you see where you have, I'll show you this seam, where that seam is here. Elliot's going to get in nice and close for me. Let me get a pin and I'll show you. Right, so you can see this seam here. When you sew, it is quarter of an inch, but make sure that your needle hits that point there. And then when it does, you will get nice points to the edges of your triangles. So I'll sew that on and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So that will make sense. But by having the seam section on top, you can see what you're doing. If you'd done it the other way round, you, you wouldn't see as much. Always reverse stitch at the front and the beginning. So when we reach this seam, go a little bit slowly and make sure that your needle goes through the point, that point that I showed you earlier, the point of the triangle. So that goes right through that point and then you'll get nice crisp points. Make sure your seams stay flat. So if the seam starts coming out at all, I always have a, an extra pin in my hand and then you can just lay it flat. And then right through the point, down to the next one, through the point down to the next one I mean you, you know what if you don't get this perfect it really doesn't it doesn't matter so you're not going to notice that much but it's just you know it's little things like this practicing on just doing 16 flying geese on a garden cushion means that when you come to do a whole flying geese quilt you'll be brilliant at it so I'm going to show what this looks like we'll just um, press it flat first and then I like to press the seam open when I have things with a lot of bulk. When I don't, or if I'm going to be pressing and then cutting, I'll press to one side. But when there's a lot of bulk like this, I prefer to press it open, but it, it's entirely up to you. Some people prefer to press it to one side. I tell you what, this little iron is brilliant for this though, because it's this got a nice little fine point. I don't know whether we've got them any left on the website, but if we have, I'd get one. Um, now I'll turn it over and I will show you, and I'll go, oh no, it didn't work. Oh, it did. We were right. We were all right. It worked. So if I give that a little press from that side now, this is where you need a bit of steam now on this. You can see now how the points of those triangles are all exactly near enough exactly on the points of here because I sewed through the seams. Now, you know, it doesn't matter too much. And if you're off a bit, who's going to notice? But it's a good way of practicing doing that. So I've just got to sew the one on the other side. Otherwise, we won't be able to carry on with the cushion. But that's done in exactly the same way. It, up to you. You can have them if you like. You can have them going the same way, which I've done, or Turn them around. So you could have one lot flying one way, one lot flying the other way. That's up to you. You can choose. I just, I did it both ways and then I thought I preferred it this way, but you know, that's uh, up to you. Once you've joined your geese together, they can fly in any direction. I couldn't find a flying wagtail pattern. You have to have a flying geese pattern. Tom Daly's won a gold. I say what, just this second now. That's amazing. We need to get him on yard. Yeah. We need to get him on yard. Why would we get him? Tom.
because he's in, I know, I have actually messaged on him on, on his Instagram site to ask him if he'll come on Yarn Lane more than once. He's not replied though. Mm, it's not fair, is it? I want to see. He's just won a gold. That's amazing. Well, they'll be like, mm, they're really ahead of us in time, aren't they? Um, Japan. So it's probably like the afternoon there. Is that our first, I presume that must be our first gold. I don't know. I haven't heard of us getting any others. Right. So your daily sports news update, our by our by Elliot. Mm. He's supposed to be working the cameras, but he's not. He's actually watching the telly. <laughs> he's just watching the telly. <laughs> so if we suddenly lose um, camera work, it's because he's watching the Olympics. <laughs> he's not, he's not. Before anyone, anyone thinks about sacking him, he's not watching the Olympics. <laughs> he's getting panicky now. He's not watching the Olympics. How do you know then? News. Right, when you get to the, um, the points, remember to sew over them. So, you know, take it a bit slowly so that you do, your needle does hit those points. And you can see, you know, my, I, all of my seams keep lifting up. So just lift the foot, push them back down with a pin. That's another good thing, a seam ripper. That's the other thing I use. I often have a seam ripper because the little point on that is perfect for holding down these seams to keep them open. And this is another reason for, for pressing your seams open is that they, if they were pressed to one side, you wouldn't be able to see these points. And then just get to the end. And then we'll give it a little press. It's our second gold. It's our second gold, is it? Oh, see, I'm obviously not following it. What was what was the first gold cap? Uh, Glennie said that Adam got the first. Adam got the first in the pool. As in pools. Oh, Elliot actually swam in a competition against him years and years ago. He was probably about seven at the time. He was young. But that can be a claim to fame, can't it? That you were beaten by someone who got a gold in the Olympics. Right. And there we go. So then if I give this a um, another press from that side, that is the front of the cushion finished. So that's all your piecing done. Now, if you don't want to do the piecing, all the measurements and the instructions are there. If you just want to have plain edges, have plain edges. You don't have to do that. But it's just a nice little bit of detail. So when you're out in the garden, you use it as a picnic cushion. Just makes it look a bit prettier, doesn't it? So once you've made the flying geese, you've then got to do the zip. Now, I know a lot of people don't like zips, but in order to be able to um, keep this clean and keep it washed, you need to be able to open it. So let me show you on my cushion. The zip's here, and it just means you can stuff it. Now, the best thing for stuffing this is an old cushion or an old pillow. If you... Um, get an old pillow that's you know you know those polyester ones and they go a bit lumpy you can just sort of cut it and you can use all of that pillow to just put inside it I used a bit of a pillow and a bit of a cushion I mean you can obviously get filling for it but I knew that this was going to be used outside so it didn't really matter too much about it and I just took an old pillow and just shoved everything in there but it is the good thing about zip is that it is easy then to take the filling out and wash it and maybe you leave it outside and it gets wet you need to be able to dry it so you do need a zip so put that to one side now i said to you earlier that i used the light denim with this and i think i mean you can use either but i think that the light goes really nicely with it it looks quite lovely. It looks, I tried both, but I think this one looks quite nice. So you've pre-cut all your, all your gussets in advance because that's all in the instructions and do all your cutting first because then you know how much fabric you've got. Then, I don't know whether I'm going to have time to do a whole zip, but we'll give it a go. 
because um, I'll st we'll start off. I'll show you anyway. Place the two zip gusset pieces right sides facing and pin them together all the way along. Now, the whole of this cushion uses a quarter of an inch seam allowance because obviously that's the easiest thing to do when you're dealing with the, um, the patchwork. And therefore, I kept that quarter of an inch seam allowance for everything else. But this, and this only, it does say in the instructions, has a half inch seam allowance because I find it almost impossible to insert a zip with a quarter of inch seam allowance because there's just not... You can do it, but there's just not quite enough fabric to definitely hold that zip. And also, um, there's not much fabric then going on underneath the zip. So there's a m much higher chance of it getting pulled out. So just for this section, use half an inch. And it does say that in the instructions. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to sew a seam that's half an inch long-ish. doesn't matter if it's off a bit. So just m mark half an inch from either end like that and then we're going to sew it from the end with a half an inch seam allowance from there to that mark don't forget it, it's got to be half an inch but it, it does say all that in the instructions and make sure you reverse stitch it either, at the end of that as well and then Sew the other end of the seam. So this technique I'm showing, you can use this for putting a zip into any cushion. Half an inch. Oh, that's not quite half an inch, is it? There we go. If you want to be sure about that, you can always mark that half an inch seam allowance on there because it's not quite long enough. So reverse stitch at either end and just do that. So now we've got... Um, half inch seams at either end. I'm now going to sew between them, but this is a stitch that I'm going to take out afterwards. So lengthen your stitch length on your machine to the longest that it will go because it's, or I mean, you can tack it by hand, but it needs to be exactly half an inch. In, so it's easier to do it on the machine, but just go for the longest. So don't overlap the stitches you've just done. Come just inside them and then make sure you use a half inch seam allowance again. Don't reverse stitch at either end because we're going to take these out later and stitch all the way down. The reason you use a longer stitch is it's a lot easier to unpick. And then when you get to the other end, don't overlap that stitching and don't reverse stitch. Just stop just within it. Let me show you there. So can you see that you just stop just inside, you stop just inside the seam. Don't overlap it. Right, then open it all up and press this seam open like so. This is a really good method for anyone who hasn't inserted a zip and is a bit scared about it and thinks they can't do it because you can't really go far wrong with this. Press it open from one side and then turn it over and press it flat because sometimes even when you press a seam open, you get a slight sort of gather or ridge. So press it from both sides. And if you haven't done a zip before or you don't like doing zips, by taking a bit of extra time to get the preparation right, it's so much easier. Right, so that's all now pressed open. And then you get a nice long zip. This is longer than I need. The, um, you need, let me, what did I, how much did I say? An 18 inch zip or longer. Now, you need to pre place this right sides down on here. Put a, half, put a pin where your end of your seams were. You can see well if you just turn them over, the, the proper seams, not the loose seam. And then just place your zip right sides down on top, making sure that the top of the slider bit is a little bit of a way down from where the, the proper seam starts. You don't want it to overlap that. And then pin it. And then what I do to make sure that it, you, this, the zip teeth need to run on top of the zip seam. So if you roll it down a bit, make sure it's sitting on top. 
and then pin it in. Or just check it every now and then, just make sure that the teeth, if you do this, you can see, oh, Elliot's excited, he's going to learn how to put a zip in. Now, if you use, um, if you're a fabric glue lover, instead of pinning, you can fabric glue this, which we sell. If you've got one of those hemline fabric glue things. So my zip's longer than I need, which is absolutely fine, because I'll just um, stitch over the end of it. And then turn it round. Now, these pins we're going to take out in a minute, so you don't need too many of them, which sounds really odd, but it really is the only way to get it accurate. So just... You know it's central, so you don't need to bother with the positioning of this side. If you, as I said, if you're using fabric glue, it's easier because you don't need to do this double pinning. But if you're not, you do need to do this. Now, you could just sew this zip in from this side if you want, but I think it's quite hard to get a neat finish that way because you can't see the other side. So what I do is turn it over, and I would much rather sew... This, from this side so that I can be sure that my stitching is nice and level with this central seam. So unless you, if you haven't used glue, the only way to do this is to pin again, leave the pins on the back, but what you can do is pin between the pins that you've already got there, like this. So you know that it's in the right place, you know it's lying centrally over that seam because you've done that from the other side so this is really just to secure it the important pins are the ones that hold the zip tape at the top and the bottom so make sure when you pin those that you definitely hold that in place so you could take out the one beneath let me show you because i'm off camera a minute um make sure you check that that, look, that that is definitely holding that down. Turn it round. So I'm not going to have time to sew this, but the sewing is the easy bit. It's the positioning and the pinning. So pin it all the way down. When you've done that, go back over and take all these pins out. So which just seems a bit like, oh, I've just put all those in. But it's the only way to be sure that your zip is central and you will get a neater finish if you sew from the other side. So now that's pinned, it's in exactly the right place. When you sew it, just use a zip foot in your machine and um, sew probably about a quarter of an inch to eighth to a quarter of an inch away from this seam and you sew across all the way down, across there. You, If your zip is longer like mine, you will end up sewing over the zip teeth. That's fine because it's a nylon zip. If you use a metal zip, just make sure you, your um, needle doesn't hit the zip. Even though with the nylon zip, they go a bit slow because you sometimes can catch the needle funny. And then you just remove those central stitches, the long ones, and you've got a perfect zip. The rest of the instructions of how to do the rest of the cushion are easy peasy, and they are all in the um, instructions that you will get with your kit. So, now I've run out of time. But that's the hard bit. I've shown you the hard bit, so. So let's just have a recap now of the Wagtail kit. Move that. Da, 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 da. So the one on screen at the moment is for the Wagtail kit. So remember that's the Wagtail um, panel where you get the lo lovely Wagtail bird and you get the all the strips that you can use to make the design, the flying geese or whatever project you're doing. There's the picture of it on screen at the moment. So the strips are all two and a half by 43 inches and they are all designed so that the colors coordinate, which is great so you don't have to think about it. And of course you get the full set of instructions, which has the instructions for the gardening cushion slash picnic cushion and the apron as well. Everything you need to know is in there. That's 18.99. If you want to do it with the, um, the magpie instead, dog not included, <laughs> so cute. If you want to do it with the magpie instead, 18.99, you get the magpie panel, which has got the um, the label and the bird and all the strips and the instructions, because you save a pound by buying the two together, 18.99 for those. Now, if you want just the panel because you're collecting them to make the quilt, or you think, oh, I want to do a different thing with it, the magpie panel on its own is 9.99, um, 
Now that's the code that you need on screen and that's what the panel looks like. We can show you the panel. Yep, there's the panel. Yeah, it's a lot of you buy multiples, but I think it's quite nice because you think, well, I'll have one for the quilt that I'm making, but actually I really like that. And what we find is people will buy the panel now and they'll buy like maybe the January instructions because they want to make it into a cushion, I think. But you do need to call the call centre or the app. The, call, the number is on screen, 0800 001 4433. We will let you know as soon as the website is fixed, but easy enough to call by phone to do that. If you want to buy the wagtail panel on its own that is 9.99 that one's currently in the lead that that's just coming up so that's it if you just want the wagtail panel 9.99 and that's got the code there on screen and if you phone up and ask them for that they will know what you're talking about which makes it a bit easier instructions on their own so maybe you only want to make the cushion you've already got a panel or you think actually i really want to make the gardening set but i want to blue it in the center of it then you can buy the instructions on their own for 9.99 remember the instructions come for both the kneeler and the apron it's all together in one in one set the whole lot it's not just one right let's run through the panels from the previous months Yeah, we haven't got January at the moment, and I don't know why. We hopefully will. We will get it back for next month. We don't have January at the moment. But we do have February. So February, we'll start with the owl. That was the extra one. So the, because he is not on the quilt. You haven't got the owl. Oh. But we've got the pigeon. So there's the pigeon. 9.99, that's the pigeon. The pigeon is on the quilt. We made the pigeon into a messenger bag. But you can have a pigeon garden cushion. That'll scare the pigeons out of your garden, won't it? If you're kneeling on the pigeons. 9 99 for the panel. Remember, it comes with the complimentary strips as well. I've just folded it that way so it's easier to see. So if you want the pigeon or if you're just thinking, well, actually, do you know what? I want to make the quilt. About first time I've ever seen Bird of the Month then you can start buying the panels now. At the very end of it, we have printed a panel that's got all the borders and the sashing strips on it so that you can make your quilt in exactly the same way as we've made ours. So there's the pigeon. That was February. Next was March, who's the bullfinch. I made a cosmetic bag from the bullfinch. That's what it looks like when it becomes a cosmetic bag. And it also became, I oh, have got a picture with them, it also became a peg bag. Because remember, you can use any of the birds for any of the instructions and any of the instructions for any of the birds. That took some working out. But after the bullfinch, it was April and it was the blue tip, which I think possibly has been our most popular. I think. He's lovely. I like the cherry blossom is in there, but that's the blue tip. A lot of people, I know multi-buy, they use that, use that for all sorts of things. Some people decided they wanted to make a set of garden cushions and bought lots of birds and just made loads of garden cushions with them. Because in January, we had a, the set of instructions was for a cushion. And I've seen people who've used all the birds and then made them all for their, for their outdoor furniture. Right, May was the great tit. And the great tit became a, the Dresden plate cushion. And also the eight, the pocket for my apron that I'm wearing. It also became that. Just because I liked it. Um, in June was the starling, which is stunning, isn't it? Look at the colours. Well, I mean, if you've ever studied a starling, they have the most iridescent feathers. It's beautiful, isn't it? And I think on that purple background, it actually looks really nice with the wagtail. Doesn't it? Look, look how nice they look together two purple birds so these are very multi-purpose if you fancied a set of cushions and then July was today which we've done instructions on their own so if I in January I made the wren cushion into a Patrick the wren into a Patrick star cushion which is behind me 999 the cushion is on the shelf behind me in February I made the messenger bag pigeon and I also made it in the owl as well but you can make it whatever bird you like you can have 
a wagtail messenger bag. Remember, everything you need to know is in there. All the instructions are all the, all the same. You, but you get more pages in this month. The um, cosmetic bag was March that I did with the bullfinch. And in here, remember, which is important, is you get the template. So we don't expect you to work that one out. The template is in there as well. Um, in April was the peg bag. But you don't need to use the bird panels for these because all the measurements are, they're all in here. They're, they're designed for that. But when I say what you need to cut out, it assumes, it doesn't, it's not assuming that you have got the bird panel so you could use them for something else. So I've seen lots of you have made the peg bag, shown, put pictures of it on Facebook, without a bird at all in it. You can just use your own fabric. So if you want a birdhouse peg bag, then that was April. In May, I made a Dresden plate cushion. So I thought a nice circular cushion for your outdoor furniture. And in here again, oh, and in the, um, I was going to show you, in the peg, there is the template for the peg bag, so you haven't got to work that out. And in the Dresden plate cushion, there are the templates to make the Dresden plate, so everything you need is in there. Um, then last month in June, we did a market toe, again using the denim, so if you've got some denim, perfect for that. Um, nice, big, deep tote bag, because I was thinking putting all your carrots and baguettes in there. So that was the market toe featuring, um, and that features pinwheel. And then this month, the gardening set. Question from Beverly. What was the ripstop for? The ripstop is for the bottom of your gardening cushion, Beverly. So it doesn't get, you don't get wet. Um, but ideal for the lining of um, anything really. But the royal blue we've had first. So it does explain in the instructions how much you need. You, a half a metre is more than enough. You only need like, I think 18 by 20 inches, something like that. But you will have more than enough. You can probably, you can get two out of half a metre. But it just keeps the bottom of your cushion nice and dry. You don't have to use that. You can use the denim, but it's better to use a waterproof fabric. And we have it in navy as well. So it just depends what shade of blue you want. That's the navy there. So I'll just show you the two together. You see, you just choose which one you liked. And a message from Leslie. Hi, Rebecca. You are a great demonstrator. Oh, thank you. That's really very kind because it's hard doing it myself. I never know whether I'm talking any sense. You explain everything so clearly. I find it very difficult to attach the zip pulls. Could you demo, please? Do you mean when there's a tab on the end of it or is it when you've used a, um, a continuous zip and you've got to put the zip pull on? Because two different things. Let us know and we will, we will, we'll show you how to do it. So we're going to have a break and let's hope the website's working then. And I will be back with you in a couple of minutes where we are doing new, new products, new fabrics and new tools as well. And I will see you back in just a couple of minutes time. Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, 
and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our program guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hi, it's Yvonne from Village Fabrics. I just wanted to share with you the next row on this uh, row a month project, Village Street. This time we're looking at the house row and we have a lot of precise piecing here. The pack that will pop through your door will contain all of these lovely fabrics with detailed instructions as to how to construct the blocks. If you haven't already joined us, it is possible to catch up with the previous rows, so why not come along and join the fun? And welcome back to Sewing Street. So as promised, after our fantastic massive clearance last week, we have got some brand new products today. These two big beasts sitting on my desk, very excited about these, I actually quite want one of them. They are sewing machine bags with trolleys. So you can have it as just a bag or it comes with wheels as well and they come in two sizes. So let me show you the little one to start with. It's got a sewing machine, it's, it's quite heavy, I say little. This is the smaller of the two. I wouldn't say it was little. It's the, it's the smaller of the two. Yes, yeah, so you can actually see me look over the bag. So we've actually put a machine in it, which is why it's looking so heavy. So we've got one of the five series Elmers in here. So it has a carry strap, so you can carry it. You can use it as, as you can use it just to store your sewing machine in to keep the dust off it, because we know how important that is. Do not keep your machine on the floor without it being a bag, because it will get full of dust. So, if you look from above, you can see. Look at this thick padding that's all the way around to keep really keep your sewing machine very very secure and on the base. So if you're going to a workshop. Or if you're going on holiday and you want to take your machine with you, because who doesn't want to take the machine on holiday? This is perfect. And it's really padded. That all, and all of that padding comes out. And it's water resistant polyester fabric. The base is, has got solid and it's got this padding on top of it. That all then zips up. There's a um, pocket in the front. Is it a pocket in the front that you can put all the, um, the feet and the um, all the cables, the manual, anything else you want, your sewing kit in there. So there's no excuse. If someone says you can't take your machine on holiday, yes you can, because it's all here. 
then you have a trolley. Now this is detachable, so you don't have to use the trolley with it. It just slides easily on and off. Um, it means it's got a lever, so you can, I'm not really gonna be able to wheel it along the desk, but it has nice, big, chunky, rugged wheels so that you can easily, this then, if I had it on the floor, folds out. They're not, they're big, chunky ones. So, you know, if you are going, you're going on a train somewhere, you need to take your machine with you, then this is absolutely perfect. It has the carry straps on the top and the bottom, so you can use it just as a storage. Nice, big, heavy-duty, chunky zips, big wheels. These are brand new in today, but we are on less than 10 available. So this is just like your sort of suitcase trolley. It's hard to show you because it's, I'm on a desk, but it works in exactly the same way as that. But it really keeps your sewing machine really secure. And then you can use it as a storage thing. And I love the fact it has such thick foam. I was thinking it'd be quite good for a duty-free trip, actually. You could take your sewing machine out, fill it with bottles, keep them nice and secure. Yeah, but I think you could probably get a few <laughs> below. But, you know, if you were going shopping and you wanted a nice, big, secure bag to keep breakables in, Perfect for a picnic. Actually, do you know what? Wouldn't it be good for a picnic? So $54.99 for this smaller sewing machine trolley, but also would be really good for a picnic. So the dimensions, which is internal, which are the most important part because you've just got to fit your machine in, they are 18 by 41 by 35 inches. Now, if you go onto the website, when it's, sorry, centimetres, when you go onto the, um, when the website's working again, all of those details are on there, so you'll be able to check that. Oh, the website's working! Hooray! Quickly, get your early, get your bird of the month. If you didn't manage to do it on the phone line and you need to do it now from the previous um, hour, the website is now working. Now, all of those details are all on the website. So if you click on more details, there it all is. So you can check, because we do um, this in two sizes, you need to see which one fits yours, because it isn't, you can use it, look, you can put one bag on top of the other. If you've got another bag, you can pop that on top. So you can use it for storing your sewing machine at home and it's really padded and secure. Then you've also got the trolley and you can get your sandwiches in as well. So. I mean, it's still a really big size, but obviously, you know, if you've got a if you've got a big big machine, you'll need the bigger size bag. Or maybe you go to workshops and you take a cutting mat and a ruler and lots of stuff and fabric, or you know, maybe you go to craft shows and you take lots of things with you. Maybe you've got your sewing machine, but you're also taking a lot of equipment as well. If you do like little craft fairs or fates, this is perfect. You can get a lot of stuff in here as well as a machine. Or you don't not put your machine, but just put all your other stuff in there. So that is the little one. We've only got seven of this one left now. But you can see, can't you, from the, the picture with the trolley, you know, how it pulls up really high. It's perfect. And it can, I, I think I like the most, well, two things, I like the padding so that it really does protect your machine, but also the really big rugged wheels. I've used a lot of trolleys, not necessarily sewing machine ones, but um, ones with your suitcases and stuff, and the wheels are so flimsy, but these are really nice solid ones, because obviously, you know, the machines are heavy things, it's got to carry that weight around. Absolutely perfect. So all you have to do is decide which size you want. If you go onto the website, the internal dimensions, which are the most important parts, because it's got to fit your machine, the internal dimensions are written in there. So you've just got to see which one is going to fit. <laughs> so the big one, if you want the big trolley, shall I, um, I'm going to move, take the little trolley off. Let me zip him back up. I nearly lifted it up without zipping. Do not lift up your sewing machine bag if it's not zipped up because it's it'll fall out. Right, let's put that one on the floor. This is the big one. Here he comes. Look at that. That is massive, isn't it? So we've got the 680 in here and there is still plenty of room. 
there's only nine of these left. I mean, I just think for $64.99, what an absolute bargain. You get the whole storage bag that's... I need to like move over, can't see. There we go. You get the whole storage bag that is really thickly padded, as I, exactly the same as the smaller one, as I showed you. But you get the trolley as well. And it's got the handle that has two heights, depending on how short or tall you are. Really nice, thick, rugged wheels. It's got side handles. It's got that zip at the front that you can put all of the um, the feet and the cords and, the, and cables. But it's just a really nice big size because when you're carrying your sewing machine around, you don't, I've made it even worse now. I'd, it's really hard to not be in front of the back. When you're carrying it around, you don't want to have to really squeeze it in so it's difficult to get in and out. It fits really nicely with lots of space around it and it's got a handle on the top. I just think for, you know, the fact that you can keep your sewing machine stored in it really clean, really safe, and you can then carry it around. It's brilliant. I'd quite like to take my sewing machine on holiday with me. You can get that on the plane, couldn't you? You could have it as carry-on. Might be a bit big to carry on. Oh, this is just the trolley. Yes, yeah, so if you want to see just the trolley, that's what it looks like. See? Nice. Got a nice little bit of um, sideways movement. This also folds down flat and it will also fit into the bag. So if you want to store this somewhere else, so maybe you're away, you're at your workshop or you're on holiday, you can put the, this will fold down flat and this will then fit into the bag. The foam lining inside it is completely removable because you just pop that in. So maybe you don't want that, you want to put something bigger in, you can take that out and then the whole thing will fold down flat. You can get your cutting mat in there as well. But the, um, the foam will fold all flat so that will go in along with this and then you can store it under the bed if you want. It's brand new, brand new in a day. That's why we had to have that warehouse clearance because we couldn't get anything more in so we needed to have a bit of space on our shelves. But, you know, we are starting to go back. There's Festival of Quilts, isn't there? It's all starting to go to craft fairs and workshops. You need something to put your brand new machine in. Keep it safe. Or if you're one of those, a bit like me, and one of those machine collectors, and you need to keep your other sewing machines safe and clean and dust-free, this is the perfect thing to keep it in. I just think for that price, the fact that it comes with the trolley as well, I think $64.99 is a fantastic price. Just, just for the bag itself. But then you get the trolley as well. It's amazing, isn't it? All locks really nicely. And it's, I think, well, they've obviously thought it through. They know that you need nice, big, chunky, rugged wheels for something like this. Very, very good quality. So we have only got five of the smaller one left now. And we have seven of the bigger ones left. So if you do want one, Look, you can see that picture on the bottom left of there is the, um, the trolley laying flat inside the bag. You see how it all fits. They are brand new to us today. So if you want one, you need, need to get it in your bag, basket and check out. But they are so easy to put them together. Well, because Kat and I had them this morning. We got them out of the boxes, put them together. Easy peasy. And that's important, isn't it? And they've really thought through the whole engineering behind the clips and how everything works and goes in. It's quite simple. There's the box. And the box, luckily, has pictures of how to do it and how it all works. So actually, um, you know, you can even store it in the box afterwards, but what a great Christmas present. You know, somebody who loves sewing, got their sewing machine, tend to keep it out on the table, never get it covered, or they take it somewhere and they just put it in the boot of the car. This is a brilliant Christmas present or just to yourself. Someone's asked if it locks onto the trolley. Oh, someone's just asked, does it lock onto the trolley? I'm going to take this machine out so we can show you. So we're going to just, <laughs> we'll show you what, how it locks on. The bits on it that lock on. Okay, yeah, let me show you the bag and how it locks on. Move the box, move the box. So this section on the back, that clips on to the clips on the trolley. And that goes in there. And then there's another clip the other side, so it sort of wedges between the clips, so it is very, very secure. 
and there's a flap on the bottom as well so if i turn it over and um, it's really hard to show isn't it but there is this little flap here that slides into a pocket on the base so that it won't fall off so when you're when you're wheeling it around, you're not, the whole thing is not going to suddenly slip because it's clipped on at the top and onto this locking flap at the bottom that goes into the specially made pocket. I mean, this isn't just a bag that fits on a trolley. This is a bag that has been designed. The two have been designed together in tandem so that it works together so that that will clip on. So it isn't, it isn't going to fall off. So this isn't like using, um, you know, a, a suitcase trolley and then sort of adapting it the two have been designed together so that they work together you know it's not none of it none is difficult it all folds down nicely it's very simple to do got adjustable handle brand new brand new only five of each left so if you want one have a look on the website if you want to check the dimensions of whether you need the big one or you need the small one but honestly be perfect for carrying lots of things. So, you know, you get often get, if you've got to carry a lot of stuff, like maybe lots and lots of fabric around, it's ideal for that. But you can get lots of stuff in as well as your sewing machine. But, you know, maybe, or maybe you're going to um, a show and you think, oh, I'm going to be a lot of fabric. This is great because it's not like um, one of those wheelie suitcases. You can, you know, open the flap from the top, just put your purchases in. Put your, yeah, put your ticket in the front one. Brilliant for your shopping. <laughs> your ticket shopping, couldn't you? So there are lots and lots of you who have got these in baskets. So if you do want it, you need to put it in your basket and you do need to check out. So should we do our new fabric collection? I need to move the trolley out of the way. There we go. I'll move the box. Right. New fabric. Brand new fabric collection for poppy cotton. Now, I love poppy cotton. Love Poppy Cotton, um, American Fabric Company, beautiful designers. If you've never gone onto their Instagram site, please do and follow them. They have the most beautiful, everything is very clean and clear and inspirational, lots of little makes. The, um, the joy and the specific issue with their, issue, the specific detail with their fabric is it's pretty and it's very detailed. It's got lots of hidden extras that are really lovely. It's a, just a charming fabric range. Oh, and Anne-Marie has said, will the big bag fit the 780? Yes. Do check the dimensions though. We've got the 680 in there with loads of room, but it is just worth, I mean, we can check for you later, but it's worth just checking the dimensions of your machine with the big bag, but it's all on the website. So it's probably best if you just check yourself just measure your machine and just have a quick look to be absolutely sure. We've got the 680 in there, but we haven't checked with the other one. Right, Poppy Cotton. So this is a brand new fabric range today. Farm Girls Unite. So in this bundle, we have got six meters, half meters. So you've got 12 half meter pieces and half a meter is free. So because it's 740, we are selling it by the half meter as well. 749 for half a meter normally, you are saving a whole half a meter, seven pound 49 by buying the whole bundle. Now the joy of buying a bundle is you know that all the prints and all the colors and the shades and the tones all go together because they've been designed with that in mind. It's not always easy to get a bit of everything, but the bundle ensures you have got everything. So should we go through them one by one? So remember, if you buy the bundle, you get half a metre freeze. That's £7.49 saving, which is a fantastic price, isn't it? So you get these beautiful, the red in here is a really, um, yeah, it's not, a, it's not an orangey red, more of a bluey red, but it's a really lovely sort of classic American quilting red. If you want it by the half a metre, there it is there. It is £7.49. It's called Bandanas Forever. Because it is like that kind of bandana print, isn't it? It's all just pink and ivory prints amongst it. It's very, very pretty. Oh, we're getting lots of questions about will my machine fit in this bag? We can't check every single one. Go on the website, it will tell you the measurements. So honestly, just for your own peace of mind, just measure the length 
the depth and the height of your machine. Write them down, then look on the um, website. The measurement that it says it fit is the measurement it will fit. It it's not got to be like within that. That's not the measurement of the bag. That's the internal dimensions. So it will tell you whether your machine will fit, but it's probably best for you to just measure your own machine and then you will know. Because obviously we've only got a certain number of machines, we can't check all of them. And it's for your own peace of mind, just measure your machine height, length and depth, and then compare that to the measurements that are listed on the website and then you will know. And there are only three of the bags left. So if you want it, you need to get them now. So I love that one. It is, it is kind of floor, it's beautiful. I love this strawberry pin. Now what I like about this one is that it's got a nice gingham check in the background, but it's a diagonal gingham. And you don't often see that. You normally see a horizontal vertical gingham. This is diagonal. And then it's got little strawberries because it's called Farm Girls Unite. I mean, it really is just, it makes you think of jam making, doesn't it? It's like the gingham covers for the pots of jam. And then it's got the strawberries as well. So it is real sort of rustic home farming, home cooking feel. Perfect. If you're making jam, you need this for your jar covers. Lovely for any kitchen makes. The whole collection goes beautifully together for um, a real sort of fresh take on your vintage American quilt because it has that, um, yeah, well, it's quite like homestead farm girl sort of feel, but the colours are very fresh and so pretty. I mean, even if you were just making a little cosmetic bag, this would be lovely just because it's just pretty, isn't it? And I like the way, you know, they've changed up a bit by making the gingham go diagonally, a bit pretty. So that's the pink one on the half meter, £7.49. But remember, this is in the bundle. And if you get the bundle, you will get half a meter for free. But this is that, that one if you just want half a meter. The next one is exactly the same fabric, but in blue. Let me just fold those up. I like the blue. The website's now working, so um, everything that was on pre-order you can now get. The website is operational. If you missed out on Bird of the Month because you couldn't work or you didn't get the call centre, you can now check out on all of those things. So this is Little Tomboy in blue. Again, it's that blue and white check, but it's not your sort of real pastel blue. It's more of a dusky blue. Very sort of vintage. Again, nice for your jam labels. Lovely for anything for the kitchen. But it's just pretty. Pretty. I just think this is one of those fabrics really nice to have in your stash that you make because of the colours and the pat prints in this go together so well. Make the most beautiful quilt. Put that together with the early bird um, jelly roll. Amazing. I love that. It's just really unusual. And I'm, I'm a big fan of poppy cotton because the, col the colours and the prints are very fresh. This one, I love this. I mean, look at the red. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's a, it's, it's a love... Oh, the code on this one is DAYH58. Oh, the image on the website is slightly wrong for that. Lovely, deep, strong, rich red. Oh, let me turn it around. With a nice, big, big floral print all over it. But I love the colours that they've used. They are, they've used very traditional prints, but just updated them. Not not modern but just fresh so you've got a really nice apple green oak leaf type all of the flowers are, have a vintage feel but just but fresher classic classic vintage so what is this one called just on red on red night no, on red it's lovely isn't it but if you want to sort of get some ideas of what you can do with these fabrics and how they've used, and this is why I'm a massive fan of their Instagram site, is they have so many beautiful photos with loads of inspiration and ideas, things what they do. If you go onto their website, they've got lots and lots of stuff on there. It's just pretty, isn't it? They, because their prints are all quite small and detailed, the sort of things they make with them are quite small and detailed as well. But it's just pretty. Look, isn't that lovely? Love that quilt. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, it is done with these fabrics. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, lo loads of ideas. It's a place I visit quite often. 
Mm, I went, oh yeah, love poppy cotton. My, one of my favourites. One of my favourites. I just, because I really do like quite traditional prints. I like small prints, but I love the way that they've updated it. Not made it modern, but just fresh. And they've got apple green. Love apple green. Now, we have exactly the same fabric, but with a navy background instead. Love this one. Now, we're selling this by the half metre, but if you want more than a half metre, because I'm thinking very nice summer dress, um, then we do cut it to order. So, if you want more, if you're thinking, well, I need two and a half metres for that dress, just put that number of units, so five units if you want two and a half metres, in your basket. It will be sent to you as a whole cut piece. You don't have to buy it in the half metre. And quilting weight cotton is really good for summer weight dressmaking or lining as well. Even winter weight is lovely for a coat lining. So, always remember that, you know, although we say this is quilting weight fabric, it is really good for dressmaking as well. This is beautiful, isn't it? really very simple little summer blouse in this. You don't need a metre, depending on the pattern. But I love that because the colours really pop on it. But if you put the two together, they look lovely. Then they look lovely together. They work really, really well because it's the same print and it's the same colour palette. So the red in the flowers here is the same as the red in the background. Those go really well together and that's the joy of buying fabrics from a collection is that you know it will work. So even something as simple as a little market tote bag and you could use, put a, um, but you could put a band at the top on the bottom or the straps and you could make the bag in this or if you wanted to line something or just a little pocket, they just work well together. So the next print pretty isn't it this one is like i don't know what is this one called it should be called daisies that's got an ivory background and it's like a daisy print i don't it's called hippie chick so just very very pretty little floral pin very delicate pretty pastel colors but just fresh colors and that's on the ivory background seven pound 49 for half a metre. But again, if you want the whole bundle, we last few chances, you get half a metre, all of the fabrics in the collection, but you get half a metre for free. Can I move the label? It's ruining the look. There we go. But you can see the scale of it. It's pretty, really pretty. Now we have the same fabric, but on a pale pink background, and then all the flowers are white. So these are daisies. Because all the fab, it's funny, you use the same fabric, but by making all the flowers the same, then they all become daisies. It's a very soft, isn't it? It's a very pastel, soft pink background. Pretty. Again, you know, perfect to put in a quilt, use for your homeware makes, but remember, this quilting weight cotton is very good for dressmaking too. Um, the next one we've got, ooh, hang on, hang on a minute. We've got a lot to get through, but I just must lose my sticker. Then we've got the pale pink. Mm, I wonder what flower, I'm not very good at flowers. I wonder what this one is. It's pretty though, isn't it? I love the pink. Yeah, it's more of a spiky daisy. It's probably got a proper name to it. It's a spiky daisy plant in the pale pink background. And then the same fabric also comes in that blue background. So you, you can see the theme now. So that checked strawberry fabric is the same color background as this one. And then we also have this same um, spiky flower daisy thing in the blue background, which is this one. And in the same way, that's the same blue as the background of the strawberry check. So on pre-order, this blue spiky one has been the most popular. It's a really, it's a really unusual blue. It is more of a dusky, dusky blue. It's not your pastel. Nice, lovely. Like this next print. We'll have to open this one up because you need to see this one properly. This is your mixed print, isn't it? Do you remember on that Instagram page and we saw that that quilt that had the um the animals are standing on top of each other. Look. 
you can see them all there. This is lovely. I mean, obviously, this is a beautiful print in itself. You could use it as a whole thing. It'd be lovely, like, for an apron, so anything for the kitchen, tea towels, bags. But dress, little skirt, make a really fun skirt, or use it for fussy cutting. You have got so many different elements on here of lovely things that you can use for if you were doing EPP or something and you wanted little different little bits on. Look, you've got a trowel, flowery wellies, a fork, watering can, garden twine. There's a lot of detail going on here. So very good value fabric as for what you could do with it if you wanted to use it for a plique. You know, you could cut out the little trug of geraniums and just stitch that even just to a card or onto the top, into the centre of a pocket. It would look really pretty. I love this fabric, but I would make um, an A-line summer skirt from it. Just because it's a bit of fun, a bit of fun. But we also have exactly the same fabric but on a navy background, which makes it look completely different. It actually makes the individual elements actually stand out more. I love the, some, where is it? The sunflower seed packet. Just such detail, isn't it? And then the little garden fork that's even got a string on it and a snail. So that's it on the navy background. And then the last one, is the navy version of the first one which is the bandana one so that's the navy version of the red version so that is the entire collection all 12 pieces so if you want half a meter for free you need to buy the bundle because one of these half meters, so that's a that's a big saving, seven pound forty nine. But if you want to buy them individually, if you go onto the website, you can see all the individual codes. We've got them all by the half meter. Remember, all of our fabric is cut to order. So if you want more, I mean, obviously the bundle only contains half a meter of each. But if you want um, the bundle and then you want to buy some extra fabric it is cut to order so if you want a bigger piece it will be sent as one large piece not as individual half meters so that is the whole collection it's beautiful isn't it it's fresh it's um it has that vintage summery feel but it's using more much fresher colors it's just stunning that's a your real heirloom quilt collection we've also put together a complimentary bundle so if you love those colours and you want some planes to go with it, or you love that colour palette and you just want planes, for 19.99 we have got one, two, three, love that green, four, five, six, six half metres in ivory pink, red, green and two shades of blue. And obviously as you can see, it complements this bundle beautifully. That's lovely. So if you want to buy some an extra bundle of fabrics that will go with this one, obviously by buying plain fabric, you make your print go further. This is all Rose and Hubble, 100% cotton fabric. But if you love the colourway of this palette, but prefer it in a plain, then 19.99 you can have six half metres. Because if you've bought maybe one half a meter of this, because there's one in particular that you like, then you know maybe you've bought this print one here, then that will go really well because all the colors in that are picked up there. That will go really well together. And honestly, plain fabric, you can use it for your satins and your borders and bits in between. Or maybe you're thinking, I'm gonna do pinwheels, I'm gonna do um, flying geese, or I'm gonna do half square triangles. You need your planes for that. That makes the fabric that you've bought in the bundle go way further. So it's a nice mixture. But that bundle we have chosen from our massive range of plain fabrics that will complement this perfectly. That's the beauty of being able to buy from Sewing Street is that we have all of this. We can look, we can choose for you so you know it will go together, which is quite handy. Right, Orophil Garden Threads. Is that this one? Yes. This also goes really well with this selection of colours. I'm just going to open the box so you can see. Oh, she's got a picture. Oh, it's too late. I've opened already. So this set of threads, which looks exactly the same as the ones I've already just opened, um, 
stuck. Yeah, but it wasn't actually stuck very well down. That set of threads, $13.99 for Aurafil, 100% um, cotton. There's 50, it's 50 weight thread, which is perfect for general machine sewing, whether that's quilting, dressmaking, or home sewing. 50 weight is normal. And do you want the box as well? There we go. There's the box. $13.99. If you've used Aurafil, you will know what amazing quality and how beautiful it is to sew with. If you haven't used Aurafil, you're in for a treat because it makes quite a difference to your sewing. It doesn't bobble and fluff and bunch up in the machine. And although it's 50 weight, it's the same weight as any other normal sewing cotton, it feels finer. It sits better on and within the fabric. It's just nicer to sew with. And it goes beautifully with this new fabric collection. Lovely gift as well. Nice little box, easy to wrap. And who would not want a lovely set of Aurafil? Oh, and we've got a brand new, a brand new wadding. I said, well, I'm having that on Yarn Lane. That's got to go on the Yarn Lane website. It's only on the Sewing Street one at the moment. That'll change because it should go. This, I mean, obviously anyone who's making toys or stuffing things needs to use filling. This is 100% wool. So, I mean, we all know how, it's, how wonderful 100% wool is. It's, um, it's br brilliant for any allergies. If you've got sort of dust or feather allergies, it's great for that. It's also very cool and very warm, um, completely biodegradable. A lot of people use wool for things like twine in the garden stuff. So for soft toy filling, this is gorgeous. It, it is the first time we've had it on air. It makes stuffing toys much easier because it's easier to, I don't know, it's hard, it's sort of softer and squishier, but easier to fill. Because I think because it's completely natural, it's a nat you know, a natural product, it does fill it up better. You can use it for cushions as well. So maybe you've got shaped cushions, you know, right when you make star shape and heart shaped cushions. Um, if you've knitted something, it's much better for filling because it's the wool with the yarn, it just, it just works better. And it's made in Britain as well. Mm. This is gorgeous. So I, this needs to be on the Yarn Lane website as well. Wool absorbs moisture. Bad luck, dust mites. Yeah, I mean, that's true, isn't it? My son's allergic to feathers. I'm not so sure how. Um, so he always has to have polyester bedding. But I've now discovered wool, and it is so much better because it is, it's like um, cotton. It does keep you cool in winter and warm in summer. But I have, I've not seen before wool filling. And it is 100%. 100% wool. So, yeah, we have seen, so ours is 5 99 We've seen it elsewhere for 6 99 I just think that's fantastic. And a lot of people, you know, at the moment, it's important that we need things that will biodegradable and things that, you know, that are buy local, got to think of our um, carbon footprint and all of that. And it's lovely. It's lovely and even smells like wool. Oh, we've got a question. Hi, Rebecca. Is the new stuffing similar to K-Pok? Well, K-Pok is more of a cotton stuffing, from my memory. I Gosh, a long time ago. We used to use that in school when we made those felt toys. But I think, I'd have to read up to it, I'm pretty sure that's cotton. But yes, it does have that same feel to it. I remember that stuff and you sort of pull it apart. I, I'm pretty sure it's made from cotton. It's similar to that, but it is lovely. It's just really, really soft. I would honestly, it's worth it. Get yourself a bag, try it out. If you've been using the um, polyester stuffing in the past, try it out, see which you prefer. But I do like the fact, you know, that it is British wool. It's, made, it's manufactured in Britain as well. And I think, you know, it's important to support our wool industry. So try it out, see what you think. For memory, I would say it's similar to K-pop. It's a long time since I've used that. Right, next, new magic clips. We've got two lots of new magic clips. Big, big ones. So this is the clip that you can sew right over. Well, you can't actually sew over it. Your needle can't sew through it, but your foot can. They are um, have markings on them, so you can use them to check seam allowances. I mean, it does say on it, you need to make sure you sew at least eighth of an inch beyond the clip. But because the clip has markings on it, you can see from the photo here, you can use your, your machine foot to go along the 
to sew. That will go on top of it as long as you make sure your needles either side of it. But they are beautiful. They're very precise. They clip onto the fabric. You can see here that they have the one bit goes underneath the fabric, one bit goes on top. So you can get a very accurate seam allowance. And all the markings are there. And you do sew right over them. Your needle doesn't sew right over them. Your foot sews over them. And if you've never used clips before, I use them all the time. I mean, particularly for bulky fabric. So if I'm doing something with like that sort of um, foam interfacing or maybe jeans or something really thick or pinning round curves, I'll use them. So it's not just for bulky things, but they are very precise. And also, if you want to, maybe if you're clipping bias binding around the edge of something and you want to pin from one side but sew from the other you can clip and it doesn't matter which size you do they are wonderful but I love these so these are 18.99 for a pack of 12 and on a direct comparison exactly the same clips 40 pounds and that say, says that you're saving 39 percent and that's 40 pounds that's brilliant isn't it <laughs> and that shows you how you do how you clip around the edge i love them because i haven't i haven't got the metal ones i've got little plastic ones but i like these they feel a lot finer and the fact that you clip underneath and then you just run the machine foot over them not the needle perfect but we also have them that's the big ones but we have them as the smaller ones as well and that will the, the green ones will do a quarter of an inch seam allowance and the blue ones will do a half inch seam allowance so it's worth having 16 nice down it's worth having a couple of packs of these because it does make that whole sort of pinning experience much quicker they're quicker to put in they're quicker to take out and you can clip from both sides as well and they've got all the markings really worth having a go up brand new brand new told you that was what the clearance was all about brand new so we've had machine bags we've had cottons and now we're on clips so what should we do next oh, glasses case and why not gifts i'm thinking gifts i know we've got um christmas and yarn lane coming up but i'm thinking oh that's very soft so map of the world map of the world 11.99 and inside look you get a glasses cloth matching look at that good for men or women or a coaster put your cup of tea on that couldn't you it's ever so soft though it feels almost like suede -y. so little gift you want a gift for somebody that's lovely because it is very um male or female a very unisex glassing case i think for 11.99 the fact that you get the little glasses cross cloth as well that matches that's really nice but always nice to have something a bit gifty perfect thing for someone and talking about gifts oh i just i just bit we've got brand new pink because she's a frog there's a frog this is great isn't it lovely i get to have all the new things i got to start the sale and i get all the new gifts little froggy pincushion so you know somebody who loves frogs wants their pins we'll give them a little 360. look at him but it's okay you can put pins in and it won't hurt him but he's really cute 6.99 for the green frog pincushion another nice little gift brand new in today oh wrong way there we are. <laughs> Brand new today, six ninety nine. Perfect gift for yourself. Six ninety nine. Right, thread magic. Love thread magic. Have you ever used thread conditioner? It's it is really really good. It's, I there's various different brands of this. It's just a thread conditioner. Now in the olden days. People used to use beeswax. So if you, it's for various things, makes threading your needle a lot easier because all you do is you run the thread through the thread magic and it does make um, threading your needle easier. But it also conditions the thread. It makes it easier to sew with. It slides through better. So if you're doing hand sewing, maybe you're doing um, EPP you, or you do a lot of... Um, just hemming and that kind of thing. It is a lot easier. It makes the 
thread stronger so it's really good for things like hemming and sewing on buttons but it also stops it tangling so um I know when I used to do a lot of cross stitch and used to use like metallic threads or some of the ones that are quite bouncy, if you run it through that, it just stabilizes it. It stops it being a bit so threat bouncy and it lasts for ages and ages. It's really, it's really nice. And it stops static as well. But if you've got a thread that's quite bouncy and unstable or you need strength, so if you're sewn on buttons, just whip it through that and it makes it actually makes it a lot easier to um, thread your needle as well. And it's hypoallergenic. The Sewing Thread Album. I like this. This is very gift, isn't it? I like the photo on the front of it actually, doesn't it? I thought this was a book to start with. That's my glass, that's my glass. 79.99, but this is a brilliant sewing gift. So you've got a magnetic case. And we open him up. Now, I love Gutemann thread. Let me just take the, the label out. Gutemann thread is beautiful quality thread. It's your 100% polyester thread. I use this all the time for just general sewing because it's strong. So I use this for EPP because it's stronger. It, you have got all these lovely colours here. And you've got everything here, haven't you? You've got your sort of um, blacks and whites and neutrals and yellows. £1.90 a spool. That's a bargain, isn't it? I love the way they all fit lovely in here as well. Um, and then you can just fill it up with other ones. So you've got all of the neutrals and the yellows and the reds. Then you move over to all the blues, purples, greens and greys. So this is a fantastic starter set for somebody who hasn't done much so and wants to have all of the colours. Gutterman Thread is beautiful quality. It's 100% polyester and it's really, really strong. And it comes in this beautiful... Beautiful, look, magnetic. Oh, either way, I need to put that way. No, it is now, it is that way. Yeah, it's magnetic. Look at that. But it's lovely, isn't it? So it's a lovely gift for somebody who you know has maybe started sewing, wants all the thread, or does it? It is very nice, isn't it? That's lovely, isn't it? Only 79.99. 42 reels of thread that is a fantastic price right i'm just going to do the early bird one more time um, yes we did have some slight website issues this morning as in it wasn't working at all but it is now resolved so if you missed out on the early bird oh we love this love this this morning this is your 40 piece design roll each strip of fabric is two and a half inches wide and they are all cut across the whole width of the fabric 44 inches 112 centimeters there's a mixture of prints and planes in neutral colours, ivories, creams, dark creams, light creams, bright whites. A lot of them are print as well as planes. We've even got stripes in there as well. I have never seen a design roll for £24.99 before. You save £5, which is more than the £3.95 postage. And it's beautiful. We were saying earlier how lovely it would be to use teamed with much stronger either brights or prints or dark so you could use it for binding and sashing you could use it for quilting so maybe using it for log cabin neutral color quilts are beautiful if you need to make a quilt maybe for a wedding a christening a baby or a special occasion whites and neutrals are fab and they look at the print on them beautiful beautiful quality i cannot believe this is only 24.99 i said earlier if you missed out google log cabin neutral quilts oh or even half square triangles oh shows the picture cats fans of half square triangles yes that's exactly what i'm talking about how stunning is that the sometimes you know just using neutral colors works beautifully you can actually then cut back on the complexity of your quilting design because it's stunning I and mean, that's really a piece of wall art isn't it Obviously not for the dog, not for the bed that the dog's going to jump on, but a lovely piece of wall art. But it's beautiful, it's fresh, it's calm. And for twenty four ninety nine, when we did have the early, when we were doing the early bird, we had a lot of you multi buying on this. But so if you missed out earlier, then you know you have got forty strips of beautiful neutral fabric there. Lovely thing to have. Maybe if you want to bind the edge of something and you know it will, it will all match together. 
only 62 pence. Right, that's now it for Sewing Street today. We are moving. Oh, one last thing. This is next month's bird of the month. I forgot to show you earlier. Next month is a J. I can't remember what date we're on, but we'll have a look. So if you want to make a lunch bag next month, I will be showing you. Bird of the month. What date is bird of the month? We'll have a look. 23rd of August will be the J and I'm going to show you how to make a lunch bag. Anyway, I forgot that earlier. Right, so do please do get kept check checking out. Sorry about the website earlier, but it's all fixed now. So as a remember, if you're going onto Yarn Lane now, if you're watching um, on TV, it's fine, don't need to do anything. If you're watching on the website or on Facebook, you need to move over to www.yarnlane.com. Oh, you don't need to move over today. Oh. <laughs> that confused me. If you want to buy with us, you need the same account as Sewing Street, but you um, go on to www.yarnlane.com. We are doing Christmas. We have three fantastic demonstrators and designers with us who you are going to love. Get yourself organised, get ahead for Christmas, get all your socks knitted, all your Christmas makes, and more importantly, your Christmas jumpers. If you haven't, if you're a Sewing Street viewer normally, then please stay with us. If you haven't knitted and crocheted for years or never done it at all, you will love it, absolutely love it. So, um, and we've got to now just put a few Christmas things on the set because it is Christmas on Yarn Lane. And how lucky are we? We get three whole hours. Please message in and let us know what you think. Studio at yarnlane.com. And I will see you back here in just a couple of minutes time.